Hi, it's Rabbi Ami Monson from Jewish Family Services of Northeastern New York, again coming at you with the latest Jewish holiday, the holiday of Shavuot. I'll bet you didn't know that Shavuot has five different names to it. The Festival of Weeks, which is Shavuot in Hebrew. The Festival of the First Fruits, Chag HaBikurim. The Harvest Festival, Chag HaKatsir. Atzeret, which means conclusion. We're concluding what I will explain to you later, the 49 days between Passover and Shavuot. And Zman Matan Torah Tenu, the time that the Israelites received the Torah, the five books of Moses. There, bet- the Shavuot celebrates the 49 days, seven weeks between the second day of Passover, where we start, till this coming Saturday night. We have um, seven weeks, and the 50th day is the day of Shavuot. And uh, during those 49 days, we count what's called the Omer, which, is, which means sheaves. Uh, there's a, another special thing that we do on Shavuot. We have what's called an all-night Torah study. Saturday night, all the way through Sunday morning, we will, do, we will study Torah. You have different, sometimes you have one teacher, but mo- usually multiple, multiple teachers teaching about different aspects of Torah r- or things related to Torah based on modern day versus ancient times. And it's a wonderful thing. And then everybody prays together in the morning. Why do I have a cheese head on my head? Well, that's a great question. Thank you for asking. It's because you are only supposed to eat dairy during Shavuot. The idea is that when we got the Torah, when we received the Torah, the Bible, that um, we just learned the laws. And one of the laws was kashrut, the keeping kosher. And so we weren't sure if eat, the meat that we were eating was kosher at that time, so we just ate dairy. So, very popular, blintzes. Go blintzes. you got to get your blintzes. you got to get your quiches. you got to get your frittatas and your cheeses, your milk, your chocolate milk. Don't hold back on the dairy, okay? And most important, we read the book of Ruth, okay? The scroll of Ruth. Who was Ruth? Ruth was a woman who was the daughter-in-law of Naomi. Naomi lost her husband, Ruth lost her husband, and then there was another daughter-in-law, Orpah, who lost her husband. And Naomi asked, said to Orpah and Ruth, you go, go back to your uh, place of Moab, where you grew up, where you are, and they were not Jewish. And Orpah said, all right, I'm out of here later, Naomi. But then Ruth actually did the opposite. She said, The famous line to Naomi, wherever you go, I will go. And not only that, she converted to Judaism. So she is the (coughs) symbol, the role model for conversion to Judaism. She not just received the Torah, she received the gift of of conversion to Judaism. And that is how, and she became one of the, the heroines of the Jewish people and of Judaism as a whole. So that is the synopsis of Shavuot. I hope you have a wonderful Shavuot, Saturday night to Monday, uh, June 4th to June 6th. Enjoy, have fun, and make sure to have your blints.